Okay, so this is the one um, I've given you the answer to in your homework, but I thought I would go through it so that you could follow it. So in this here one, it is saying a particle, this here, is in equilibrium under all these different forces. Now, sorry, I'll just put on the Newton there, so that's a force as well. It wants us to first of all obtain an equation um, in the horizontal direction. So I think the easiest thing to do is um, just break it down into different quarters here and just look at what's going on. So if I cover this up and I look at the first quarter, going to the left, we have 4 root 3. So I'm going to write going to the left, we have 4 root 3. Now if I look at any of the other quarters going down, there's nothing going to the left. And to this side, there's nothing going to the left. So going to the left, we only have 4 root 3. That's going to be equal to what is going to the right. Now we have to work that out. So going to the right, we have nothing in that quarter, nothing in the two bottom quarters. So we have just our P, um, and we're going to have to resolve this because it's at an angle. So when it's the angle close to the horizontal, it's going to be cos. So going to the right, we have P cos and our angle, which is 30. Okay, so that is our part A. That's our equation for the horizontal. Now, part B asks for resolving the equations for the vertical. So in that case, as it's an equilibrium, what goes up is going to be equal to what goes down. So again, easiest way to do it is just break it up into the different quarters. So if I look at that first one there, we only have Q going up. So I'm going to write Q. In the second one here, we're going to resolve P for its vertical. So it's going to be P sine or angle, which is 30. Okay. And we've got nothing else here that's going that's going up. So I need to fix that. So then I'm going to have to equal to what is going down. And in this diagram, the only thing that is going down is my six newtons. Okay. That's an equal sign. So now what we have to do for part C is to use these two equations to find our unknown force P. So I need to look at a oh, one and Q. I need to look at which one would be easiest to rearrange. Now looking at the bottom one here, it is two unknowns, Q and P. There's no point in using that one. At the top equation, we have 4 root 3 equals P cos 30. So it's going to be easy to rearrange this equation in terms of P. So I'm going to do that. So P. At the minute, P is being multiplied by cos 30. To get rid of that, I'm going to divide each side by cos 30. So it's going to be 4 root 3 divided by cos 30. 30. Now obviously cos 30 is the number if you type it in your calculator and this is the same. And when you work that out we actually get that p is equal to 8. So we've already found our one unknown p is now 8. Now we can go back and just put p into the bottom equation and rearrange it to find q. So q, so I'm taking this one just putting in my number, number for p, uh, plus 8 sine 30 is equal to 6. 8 sine 30, if you type that into your calculator, uh, is 4, because sine 30 is a half. So Q plus 4 is 6. So rearranging this in terms of Q, Q is equal to 6, take away 4, which is equal to two. So your answers are P is 8 and Q is 